All right, guys, welcome back to another reaction video. So today we're gonna to be reacting to Spider-Man 2. Uh, I'm here with my cousin Ninetail Brush. I'm James Kroll. Um, so you uh, you haven't seen this, or you've seen little pieces Played of it a, little little a long bit. time ago. Yeah. I've obviously seen Spider-Man, but it's been a while, so we watched the first Spider-Man, if you wanna go check that video out. We're gonna keep watching the second Spider-Man, third Spider-Man, keep going through the series, maybe watch the X-Men, different things like that. Anyway, um, if you guys wanna watch the full-length reaction or the next Spider-Man movie, anything like that, go ahead and check out the Patreon in the link below. You know, we really appreciate any sort of support you guys can throw our way. Um, yeah, and let's just jump into it. Now, the last movie left off on a pretty big cliffhanger with Harry Osborn and then Spider-Man friend-zoning Mary Jane. Yep. So I wonder... Now, I do know that um, Dr. Octopus or whatever is... Is in this movie? Is in this movie. Okay. So whether or not he's the main villain... Because we do have Harry. Yeah. Why is it 2.1? I don't know, actually. I just noticed that right now. Remember this. Hey, the best character. <laughs> J. Jonah Jameson, hands down. Best character. Oh. <laughs> Holy. <laughs> Eight extra. <laughs> Listen, ditch the bike. It's time to go Spider Man. <laughs> Yo, but yeah, I saw the uh that po um the post word. Yeah, 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 yeah. So she's in a play. Yeah. I remember she wanted to be an actress. That's cool. Yeah. I like that progression, you know? Yeah. She achieved it. Oh I <laughs> Okay. <laughs> 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 it just comes out. <laughs> Took Took a picture. Yeah. I mean I like how awkward he is. Like <laughs> it adds this element to it, dude. It makes it so <laughs> Best character in the series. Oh, I love it. But, I mean, it's, it is relatable too. It's like, man, you have bills to pay. It's Spider-Man or no? Your, your life isn't just magically taken care of. Okay, well, this usually doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> now they're just purposely hitting it with their bags. Come on. Well, Doctor Clutch, right now. Why are you dead? I'm being kind of busy taking pictures of your friend. Can we get off that subject? You gotta respect Harry, honestly, you know, for not even being more obsessed about it. Like, the fact that Harry can still be friends with him and, like... Yeah, because, I mean, that's very understandable to be, like... It's so admirable, you know, to, like, even with all the, like, stuff happening and... She's still able to, like celebrate Peter's birthday, you know? Yeah. I mean, they're both, like, her and Ben were such just amazing people. I'm seeing somebody now. Oh. Therapy. No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I kind of tend to think he overcorrected in kind of friend-zoning her. Yeah, it depends. It's got to be, like, like he's going to the for absolutes, you know, which is yeah. A but little... if you lose yourself in it, then you're no help to anyone. Of course, that would be my argument, right? Where it's like if he loses himself to this, then he, he, he's not a hero. He's not anything. Bend it. <laughs> I have a paycheck due this week. You are much late again. I promise, as soon as I get promises with crackers, my daughter would be fat. <laughs> I'm really 
job is done here. Got you two geniuses together. Good luck tomorrow, Otto. Nobel Prize. <laughs> we'll see you in Sweden. I like how Harry seems to have more confidence in this movie, too. Yeah, definitely. Did Edison sleep before he turned on the light? <laughs> Did Marconi sleep before he turned on the radio? That's Did a Ray light and a radio, <laughs> not a nuclear <laughs> bomb. Like. <laughs> I still don't understand what he was talking about. Oh, come on. <laughs> I forgot how, like, gritty this movie is. Like, it feels so... It almost doesn't feel like a superhero movie, you know? Like, it's so gritty. He's, like, at the laundromat. Yeah, and, even like, just doing the laundry for his Spider-Man suit, you know? It feels yeah. like this. I mean, that's what you have to do, you know? <laughs> <laughs> come on, Peter! <laughs> So freaking relatable. <laughs> Poor Pete. Oh, of course. Pete. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, boy. That was awesome. You can tell they had way more budget for this movie. Yeah. That's why you can't make you can't make absolute promises. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna see the show. I understand. Uh, Miss Watson, she's a friend of mine. She asked me to come, but not to come late. Uh, uh. Why do you gotta be so? Why do you gotta be like this? <laughs> like, go on. It's the same. Uh, I don't know if you recognize. It's the same guy who plays the the stadium announcer in the first one. Oh really? Yeah, 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 he's like a he works with the director all the time, so he has cameos in all his movies. <laughs> cool. But it sucks. Like, she's definitely gonna blame him or something. Cora. But it's like, that's the thing. It's on him, man. It's such a mature theme for a superhero movie, though. Yeah, and it's so it's not like a big like, huge you know, world threatening theme. It's yeah. like a. It's a very relatable and, you know, small scale. Yeah. But it's what people have to deal with, yeah. you know, and that's what, yeah. Which is what makes it a good movie. It's like it's Spider-Man, but, like, he's got to pay rent, just like me. Like, yeah. And that causes issues, you know? Yeah. Causes stress. That's a big thing. What? What happened? Is it because he's stressed out or something? Oh no, he's like starting to get scared about it again. How about um, a children's book? You could uh, have like Charlotte's Web, but without the pig. You know, <laughs> <laughs> line of hammocks. Because it's kind of a web thing. <laughs> <laughs> Like wait, whenever it's awkward on the elevator, the elevator always takes longer. <laughs> oh. Hmm. I totally forgot that this guy was the, the, the Octavius dude. I maybe. Nah, he's gotta be. This guy's acting is amazing. Yeah. Holy. <laughs> to use these arms to control fusion reaction and environment. Yeah, just a little intimidating. <laughs> All the people are backing up. The artificial intelligence in the arms is as advanced as you suggest. Uh, couldn't that make you vulnerable to them? All right, sure. 
Which is why I developed this inhibitor chip to protect my higher brain function. It means I maintain control of these arms, instead of them controlling me. And... <laughs> the head. That was a sketchy line, like what? Uh Wait, what? Jeez. Of course. Oh great. Oh. Wasn't that fucking awesome? That was sick. <laughs> One of the coolest sequences ever. What are we gonna call this guy? Uh, uh, Dr. Octopus. That's crap. Uh, science <laughs> quick? Crap. Wait, wait. <laughs> Isn't Sam Raimi just a freaking master at like good villains? Like I think the villain is so great. Ah. Uh. <laughs> okay. Dude, this freaking movie just goes ham. I forgot how quickly paced this was. Oh my. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Doc Ogg is an absolutely sick villain. Like, I feel like that was the weakest part of the first movie was the... Like, Green Goblin was good, but I feel like Doc Ogg's better. <laughs> oh. Oh. And drink every time they smash a taxi in this movie. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Upper arm strength. Oh my goodness. Oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> Freaking poor Aunt May, bro. It stuff's always happening to her. I know, her. she's probably like, what is happening? Come on, Peter. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, shit. Aunt May to the rescue. <laughs> Take me! <laughs> <laughs> these movies are funny, bro. I forgot how funny these movies are. Is that? Yep. Oh my goodness, dude. Dude, I totally. I like. I feel like I haven't watched this movie. I forgot all this stuff. <laughs> Can I get you a drink? 
drink? I'm with John. He'll get me my drink. John. Uh, she's not wrong, though. Yeah, but it's one of those things where you have to, like... You always have to come at it from different angles. Maybe you're not supposed to be Spider-Man climbing those walls. That's why you keep falling. Hmm. What was that a choice, Peter? I have a choice. I like how it's like, dude, he's 19. Of course she doesn't have any direction. Superhero or no. Yeah, it's like you're trying to... Like, find out just like every are. other you know or whatever 20 21 year old in the world you're you're trying to find your identity you're trying to figure out what you're gonna do it's understandable well, understandable but it's still there still needs to be development for him because yeah like there are times where you can say like yeah I'm just myself kind of I can only do so much but that's yeah. very different from using it as an excuse to not progress yourself and to not strive to do something better you know what I'm saying yeah that is another thing though like knowing that you can do something about it you know and choosing not to Potentially. I mean, he's going after what the doctor said. But is the doctor Spider-Man? Eh. <laughs> I thought it was <laughs> 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 what? I love this little group that they got going on. What's the name? Hmm. Hmm. This camera shot is so sick. I thought he figured out the. I was like, what? You know who's Spider Man? Uh, no, 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 no. Yeah, just... There's your team up. <laughs> That's gonna be kind of I hard. I think he missed that part. <laughs> Gotta redo it all again. Let's go. See, honestly, I feel bad for this guy. Like, what did he do? Yeah, of course. Because he's not like a jerk or anything, really. Yeah, he didn't do anything. Mary. Honestly, that's kind of on Mary Jane. Because, like, if you don't, you know, if you don't, like, truly love somebody, and they might, like, it's kind of like... You can't lead them on. Yeah, it's irresponsible. Especially if you're like still into somebody else, like it's so. I it's just the drama of it. I don't know how much it's like. Yeah, of you course. Know, I mean, you planned can't... out or not planned out, and it's like they're all a mess and they're all young, and it's like yeah. Yeah, it's just one of those things. Is you gotta always think about it from everyone's perspective, kind of like if you. It's just a little selfish. That's yeah. Like, you know. Yeah, it kind of stinks. Hmm. <laughs> 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 
Dude, the camera work in these movies, isn't it awesome? I, I think it's just like expert filmmaking. Well, don't kill him if you don't know he's Spider-Man. <laughs> Just ends him. I guess not. Does anyone know how they did these arms? I actually, I have no idea. I'm assuming it's practical. Practical? Really? I bet you a lot of it is. Because this is early, like 2005? You know, they don't have good CG. Oh. Dang. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Fighting in this movie is some of the best fighting in any superhero movie ever. <laughs> oh, oh. 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 On the freaking side, side of, of the subway. Shh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh. My knees hurt watching this. Oh. A whole bunch. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Goodness, dude. Don't go toward the front. Damn. Go to the back, everybody. <laughs> Shh. Have you never seen that scene? Oh my gosh, dude. It's like one of the most famous Spider-Man scenes ever. That was sick. <laughs> Sorry, what were you gonna say? I said, I don't know how this is gonna go because if he <laughs> finds out it's Peter, man, oh my goodness. Look into your eyes as you die. Oh. <laughs> Harry. Where is she? Where is he keeping her? Harry, please, I've got to stop him. Oh, <laughs> yep, he did I not. Oh, Let's go dude. Way bigger than last time. Because everything's bigger, the tritium and yeah. everything. Mary Jane and Aunt May have to be like the most mentally traumatized people on the planet. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he doesn't want to yeah. reveal himself or or be with people because it's like but even then they find out so then I'm like well screw it might as well yeah, yeah I was gonna <laughs> say those things can like see yeah Ooh. Ooh. is it too big to stop or something yeah <laughs> it's like seriously it's like, okay <laughs> <laughs> well, now she knows. Dude, dude, stop staring. <laughs> 
That was not the time to be awkward. Come on. This is really heavy. <laughs> <laughs> Holy. <laughs> oh, ho. Oh. Dang. Yo, watch out. The world is just trying to get at Peter. I know. It's like, bro, <laughs> he just lifted a building. The cringe. Dang. <laughs> what do you think? That was good. I like the, uh, I like, it was a very different sort of, had a very different vibe. Than the first one? Yeah, compared to the first one. Yeah. They made it so that the, the, uh, what's his name? Villain? Octavius? Yeah. It wasn't yeah. really, um, I wouldn't say he was the... Like the major conflict or whatever. That's true. The conflict's all Peter. Yeah, it's mainly like Peter having to overcome a lot of his, you know, his daily life stuff. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, of course, yeah, the whole love aspect of it. And then just like trying to come to terms with certain things, like the death of his uncle, you know, and then kind of figuring out who he is, what he really wants, and what he should do kind of deal. Yeah. I think that was the main conflict. It wasn't really... I felt like it was a a story about finding yourself, overcoming your own obstacles, and then it was a a hero versus villain movie second. Yeah, which I think is cool. I think it's... Yeah, it was interesting. I mean, the the classic sequel thing to do would be like, look, we did hero villain, now we're going to do hero and... And two villains, or a bigger hero and a bigger villain, and yeah, I think, yeah. like the action and stuff is way cooler. Oh yeah, the action, <laughs> the action is insane. Like, it's like some of the best action stuff? in any superhero movie. It's crazy, out. but I think they did a good job of of just kind of taking the characters to another level yeah, and exploring yeah. those. Even with like Harry, like Harry's very one note in the first, and not in a bad way, but it's just like, look, this is his role in the first movie, and like in the second movie, I think he, they really add a lot of depth to him. Yeah. I agree, I agree, and it's cool to see Harry kind of, um, like, develop more, you know, he's a lot more, like you said, um, confident, you know, with himself. I also feel like he's still, you know, he's a little unstable, like, yeah. mentally, he's probably traumatized from the death of his dad, and mm. of course, obsessed with... Well, he's, like, chasing that, I mean, he, he yeah. had daddy issues before his dad died. Yeah. And it's <laughs> like, kind of like... Yeah, he's got a. He's got a. Also, well, I, of course, I don't know. I don't know if he can't overcome or will overcome or just stays the villain. But we'll see. You know, it might be the first villain 
that Peter can kind of turn around. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And not have to, uh, you know, whatever, rely on whatever, you know, other things. Rather, you know, like this one, he the villain turned around, but it was a little bit... It's not like he turned around from only... Uh, Peter's words there's the whole deal with the things controlling him and stuff yeah I want to see kind of like a real you know like I'm a I'm a villain kind of deal but I'm still your friend and but the reason is you know that I'm a villain now is because you know I feel like you betrayed me yeah and then I want to see like Peter be able to either convince him or somehow you know a different sort of fight yeah yeah but that'll be cool if that happens but you know but yeah yeah so we're obviously gonna watch um, Spider-Man 3 coming up but if you guys like this obviously you know like comment show it some love tell us what you guys thought um, the next episode is gonna be out on Patreon right now so you wanna go check out Spider-Man 3 on Patreon go check that out right now full length of this one's on Patreon like I said before we really do appreciate the support um, and as always, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for everybody who subscribed, who's patrons, who's everybody. You guys are awesome. You guys have been showing everything a lot of love, and um, we wouldn't be here without any of you guys. So thank you all so much, and we will see you guys in the next video.